Good day, kids. Welcome to science class with me, Madam Ivy, Madam Mas Mulyani, and Madam Lina. Today, we are going to continue with part two, soil and its contents in unit nine, the earth. We have covered part one, land forms. In part one, you learn about the surface of the earth, such as mountain, beach, hill, valley, river, pond, lake, and sea. Today, in part two, you are going to learn about soil and its contents. In today's lesson, you may refer to your science textbook in page 85 to 87. Soil What is soil? Soil is the loose upper layer of the earth's surface where plants grow. There are several types of soil found on the surface of the earth that are important for life. There are three types of soil you must know in today's lesson. They are garden soil, clay soil, and sand. The first soil you must know today is garden soil. Garden soil can be found in the farm or garden. It is dark brown to black in color. Garden soil suitable for growth of most plants such as vegetables, fruits, and flowers as it contains humus. What is humus? Humus is the decaying plants and animals. Humus contains many useful nutrients for healthy soil. That is why garden soil is suitable for growth of most plants such as vegetables, fruits and flowers. Garden soil and its contents. Garden soil contains sand particle, small animal, small stone, dry leaf, and twig. The small animal, dry leaf, and twig will decay and call humus. The second type of soil you are going to learn today is Clay soil. Clay soil can be found in the paddy field and river. It is reddish or gray in color. Clay soil is suitable for growth of a few plants such as the paddy plant as it holds a lot of water. Clay soil and its contents. Clay soil contains very fine soil particles. That is why clay soil retains the most amount of water. The third type of soil you are going to learn today is sand.
Sand can be found at the seaside or beach or desert. It is yellowish in color. Sand is suitable for growth of a few plants which do not need much water such as cactus. Sand and its contents Sand contains salt particles and small stones. Thus, it does not hold water very well. Soil content Linda and Hafiz are investigating the contents of three types of soil. Linda said, this clay is very fine. Then the teacher explained why the clay is very fine. The teacher said, this clay contains very fine soil particles. Then Hafiz asked them question. What are the contents of garden soil and sand? Now class, let us investigate the contents of garden soil and sand. Contents of garden soil and sand. Contents of garden soil. Contents of sand Okay class, so these are the contents of garden soil as you can see here, we have stones, sand particles, twigs, dry leaves, roots, and small animals. And these are the contents of sand. We have sand particles and small stones what have i learned today what have you learned today kids yes you learn about soil how many types of soil yes there are three types of soil they are Garden soil, clay soil, and sand. Garden soil contains decaying plants and animals, sand particles, and small stones, while clay soil contains very fine soil particles and sand contains sand particles and small stones. It's time to do your science activity book. Please take your science activity book 
and today we are going to do page 59 and 62 only okay we are going to do page 59 and 62 only okay now turn to page 59 turn to page 59 don't forget to write down today's date here okay write down today's date here okay now let's read together separate and observe name the type of soil based on its contents okay name the type of soil based on its contents so in this task in this exercise you need to write the name of soil write the name of soil in these boxes so there are three boxes here you need to write the name of soil in these boxes based on its contains okay based on its contains for example okay we look here for example what type of soil contains soil particles twig okay dry leaf small stones and small animal okay yes you write down the soil name here write down the soil name here and I want you to do the same I want you to do the same with the other questions too okay here you name the types of soil which contain sand particles and small stones okay write down the answer here and write down the soil which contain very fine soil particles okay you write down the name of the soil again okay, now we proceed to the next question next page you okay, can now turn to page 62 turn to page 62 okay we skip page 60 and 61 now we do page 62 okay don't forget to write the date here okay now let's read together separate the soil content the picture below shows the content of a soil write the correct soil content okay read it again the picture below shows the content of a soil write the correct soil content so in this task in this exercise you need to look at the given picture okay write the correct soil content right the correct soil content based on what it is pointing based on what it is pointing okay you can choose your answer from here so here we have dry leaf okay you find where is dry leaf here small animal okay you find where is the small animal twig okay twig where is the twig stones stones okay find where the stones and sand particles okay you find where's the sand particles so you fill in the blanks here fill in the boxes once you are done i want you to complete this sentence I want you to complete this sentence. This soil is, this soil is, okay, you write down what is your answer here. What type of soil is this? Okay, based on 
its contents here. So you write down your answer here. This soil is, okay, you write down. Okay, so that's all for today. We have come to the end of the lesson. Don't forget to do your task in your activity book, page 59 and 62 only. Then, send them to your science teacher. Stay safe and healthy at all times. Thank you and goodbye.